It's that time of the year again where all the Costco's get their Maestos. And today we're gonna talk about that. Let's jump right into it. So every year we see a ton of people buying Maestos at Costco's in the hope that they will resell them for a higher price. But this year, somebody took this to a whole new level. There's a guy in Ontario, I live in Canada, who, believe it or not, he bought the entire skid, you know? 160 cars, one shot. He bought the skid, and he bragged about it on social media. He was actually on one of the Facebook groups that I follow. And, and when he posts pictures of uh, what he bought, he was asking if he did a good move or a, a dick move. <laughs> So uh, I couldn't answer him yeah, right on Facebook. So uh, I've decided to make a video about that because this is way too much for me. So let's talk about the metrics here. Because uh, when I was in business school, yeah, I was. Well, actually, I, uh, I knew a guy who had a business. And he always taught me that if you want to do a profit, if you, you you're, want to resell something, you have to make minimum 50% profit on it. So... Let's say if you buy something at $10, can you sell it at $20? Yeah, good for you, do it. So the problem with the Maestos is that uh, in Canadian dollar, with, with taxes, it costs $27 per car, okay? So if you want to have a viable business out of this, you'll have to sell your car at least $55 a piece to make a decent profit, which is mostly impossible. Nobody will buy a Maisto at $55, $60. You're going to be stuck with it. The only way you can make money out of this is to take a big giant cut on the shipping, which uh, by today's prices in shipping, it's mostly impossible. So basically you're going to be stuck with the cars. I knew a guy at some point in my life who owned a uh, die cast and collector's shop and he told me that he sold Maestos all year round, but when Costco gets their cars, he bought them from Costco because it was cheaper with taxes in comparison to his normal distributor. Believe it or not, the MSRP on these Maestos from the official website is around $45 a car, so it's pretty high. So that's fine. It, I mean, it's once a year. So the thing is also, when when you buy an entire skid of uh, Maestro die gas, you have to move them. You have to physically get a truck to get them and you have to store them at your place. There's a lot of things here that you'll see your profit thin out pretty fast with all this. So uh, if you're asking me what would I have done, well, <laughs> it's hard to say, man. Maybe go out there and buy a, uh, buy an entire collection from somebody who doesn't want to collect anymore. You can pretty much get a decent price and can offer a wholesale price for the bunch and then resell them at a slightly higher price. You can do that. I mean, uh, it's been done before. I know people who've done it. But then again, prices are getting higher in diecast in general. So uh, if you ask me what I've, what would I have done, Personally, so an entire skid of di of Maestro diecast is around four thousand dollars Canadian dollars plus tax. <laughs> I have to insist on that plus taxes. So for that amount of money, I would have bought, and I thought about it uh, when they uh, when they released the roof CTR from Almost Real. I saw that a lot of people bought that car. It was it was uh, it was almost four hundred dollars a car. So, if you go ahead and buy like five or six of these cars, you can you you only have five or six car to resell. So you can sell them at a higher price and maximize profit with that, and take the money from your profit and buy other cars and go from there. I think that would be a good idea. But at the same time, I've reached out to uh, companies like Solido. Uh, I wanted to be an official distributor of Solido models and they sent me, they, they were nice. I mean, it's a cool company. 
the uh, they answer me by saying that well there's already a distributor in the province of Quebec so uh, I realized that I can't compete with that so uh, I will not be selling dye gas uh, professionally <laughs> also in my opinion this is just my opinion if, if you go ahead and buy an entire skid of Maestos at a Costco it's your business you you can do whatever you want it's a free market it's a free country Costco doesn't care about what you what you do but when you post it on Facebook or any other social media and you brag about the fact that you bought an entire skid you lose the advantage because people are gonna see this and they're gonna react and you will not be able to sell them these cars for $60 a piece you know they will know how much you paid for them and will refuse to pay the markup so your only chance is gonna be uh, to go at car meets you know or different car show uh, people there will uh, see the real car and will want to bring something back home so they'll they'll buy your car at $60 but then again, it's going to take you a long time to do that. So it's, it's not necessarily the greatest move. I've tried in the past and uh, last year I sold a bunch of my uh, Maestos that I had because I decided not to collect them anymore and I needed the space. So uh, that's okay. I, I sold them at a reasonable price and people bought them. But if, if you're asking 50, 60 bucks for them, you're gonna be stuck with them. Yeah, it's pretty much my opinion, man. So go easy on me in the comment section, but please do leave a comment. I wanna hear what you have to say about that. Speaking of selling die gas, I will be selling uh, some of my die gas here uh, pretty soon. I'm gonna figure something out, cause uh, as most collectors, I rapidly ran out of space to store them. So some of them has to go. So uh, be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna set something up and I'm gonna sell about a, yeah, about 10 models I have to sell. I'll let, I'll let you know, I'll let you know. So that's it for today's rant. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Bye bye.